specific ones recently on Dan Fogelberg's song Nexus. This is from his album The Innocent Age and it shows off some great guitar playing on a 12 string guitar. I'm going to do this lesson on a 6 string. Um, there's a couple of things we're going to talk about and one of them is just the, the basic picking pattern while he's singing is fairly simple but very fast. So it's just a matter of keeping your fingers ripping with no pinches usually and just keeping your thumb going back and forth between two or three different bass strings depending on what's going on. And then there's this little, now he plays this with a thumb pick. I, of course, start this without my thumb pick here. He plays it with a thumb pick and does a lot of, lot of strumming in there. And so when he, the timing in this little part is a little tricky. And we're going to work on a couple different ways of playing that um, to, to get it all come, to get it to sound like what happens in there. But, um, so anyway, that is what is coming up, is a lesson on Nexus. This will be broken up into a few different parts and um, maybe dripped out over over multiple uh, multiple times as depending on how complicated it gets I don't even know yet because I shoot this part first um, anyway coming up a look at Nexus by Dan Fogelberg the first thing I want to talk about is the is the fast picking that happens during the vocals um, we'll get to the introduction and things that happen in there and we're in drop D tuning, so really important. I've got the 6th string tuned down to D. And now I'm just playing a D chord with the 6th string open, the 5th string open, the 4th string open, and the 3rd string at the 2nd fret, and the 2nd string at the 3rd fret, but also leaving the 1st string open. So this would really be a D sus2. That's the, the chord we're going to do these, these exercises on. And the, the, if, I'm, if I'm just on D, I'm usually going to be alternating back and forth between... Now Dan only uses one or two, well, two fingers as he's, as he's keeping this going, and there's a lot of strumming involved in, the, in what's going on with, his, with the thumb pick. Um, but we're going to be doing this as a finger picking song first, because that's the, or at least for this part. And so, very simple pattern, if you're, you, if you're familiar with Travis picking and things like that, you know that we've got two bass notes alternating back and forth, and then your fingers, I'm going to go ahead and use all three fingers, but sometimes I'm going to switch to two on the top strings, depending on what's happening, if I end up using the third string as a bass note. But in the beginning, for this open D chord, the D sus2, we want to be playing the sixth and fourth strings, and a really basic pattern is to have these notes played on the quarter notes, one, two, three, four, and then have fingers alternate on the ands, but not starting until the second and. One, two, and three, and four, and. One, two, and three, and four, and. So I'm going thumb, thumb, index, thumb, middle, thumb, index, where I played the index on the and of two, the middle on the and of three, and the index again on the middle on the and of four. Now I could work the top note in if I did if I did two of those. This would really be one measure. And that's exactly what I have in the tablature, the very last measure, which is just an example of something you can be doing with your right hand. We're not going to worry about measure for measure exact everything he did. So we're just you just have to have that technique. Now you also then have to be able to do that faster. Mm -hmm. 